Hi hey folks, uh, Rob here and I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing video. This is a retro system which arrived pretty recently. Um, you can sort of see what it is. It's basically a uh, handy color computer 3. Now they sort of weren't really big here and I've sort of been interested in wanting to get my hands on one for a while now just, just because I've seen some of the cool homebrew stuff that's been produced and the kind of a machine doesn't really get talked about, at least in the circles that I hang around in. So uh, this came up on auction, actually came up for what I thought was a pretty decent price. So I sort of nabbed it. And um, because it's not just the system, it's this family pack. Um, this came out in like Christmas 1987 from what I gather. And got a pretty cool bunch of stuff in it. So I thought I'd go through the box, show you everything. And I won't do a demo now, I'll do it later when I get some other stuff. But just to see what this is all like. All right, so first thing in the box is the computer itself. It's kind of a pretty plain box compared to what you see in other models. I mean, I think of when I look back to the C64 box, it's you know, nice and colorful. This one just kind of bland with a you know, black and white line drawing of the computer itself. So we'll go through and pop the box open. I'm trying to get this unfolding around myself. So. First thing is the sort of the big manual on extended basic. Um, so this is basically like the really fancy manual for the machine. Um, which, from what I gather, um, you know, Tandy did a good job of putting that together. So I'm looking forward to learning how it's, how it's variation of basic functions. Then there's a couple of cables. Um, yeah, there for some other bits. So there's an RF cable which, it's 2016, who cares about that? And we've got the computer itself, which is in the polys. So I should pull the polys out. And here she is. Um, it's sort of like the acorns in that the power cable is actually part of the machine. Um, keys are nice. It's, it doesn't feel very yellowed, which is pretty darn amazing. Um, so let's do a quick, quick tour of the machine. So we've got the keyboard and all of that. From what I gather, over the Color Computer 2, there's a couple of new keys and the arrows have been moved. Um, so let's go to the side. Cartridge slot. For me, that's probably gonna end up just being home to the SD card interface I have on order. Around the back, we've got reset, composite video and audio, uh, channel selector and RF output. Then we've got the cassette socket. Um, Clangly the Cocos are good in that they've got a proper cassette recorder that can start and stop which is actually really handy when you come to think about it. Then you've got uh, the serial I.O. and two joystick ports and a power port. The other thing that's actually interesting is down here is an RF, uh, RF RGB output. So that's kind of important because I'd like to get better picture quality out of the machine than a uh, good old composite. And the other thing that's really cool is it hasn't been opened, which I'm probably gonna break eventually because I don't install 512k RAM in this thing, um, which is an official upgrade, but there's third party boards that are a little more power efficient. I want to install one of those. So let's get the computer out of the way. And the last couple of bits in the box is sort of the quick reference guide for the basic and the introductory manual, which. Yeah, it just talks about, you know, the ports and how to set it up and things like that. So that's... And a quick reference guide is just, you know, things like example basic... Basic instructions, pardon me. So that's all that bit. RF cable, power cable, it's actually for the tape recorder. Pretty much self-explanatory what you expect. So now have a look at the computer itself. The next part of the system is the tape recorder. It's actually rather nice long tape deck, which is really handy because, as we'll see in a bit, uh, cassette cable, which has got your earphone, microphone, and remote jack. Uh, then we've got the cassette recorder itself. It's in very nice condition. Um, I do have to check the belts. I haven't actually fired it up yet, but it's got all, you know, it's got your AC port. Actually, AC port's on the other side. You've got a battery pack compartment, which is empty, so there's no leakage. You've got your DC and everything else. I need to check the belts because, as usual, with these old cassette recorders, it is probably 
not been used in 20 odd years and is likely that the belts aren't in good nick. I'm, I'm hoping that because it's through Tandy, that there's, you know, the, the Coco community will go, yeah, you need, just need these replacement belts. So I'm hoping that actually getting it going again is gonna be, that getting it going again is gonna be like no hassle at all. And I'll be able to use this with my other retro computers that, that, that need a tape recorder that aren't Commodore ones. So that, that's actually what I'm kind of excited about more than anything, funnily enough. Um, now the other part is the joysticks. Two color computer joystick controls. These, these aren't very good joysticks. Um, you kind of meant to hold them in the hand like this and play like this and it's sort of really fiddly. Um, I need to investigate options. I know that um, some members in the community have made joysticks that, um, joystick adapters that'll take a standard 9-pin Atari interface so I can do something like plug a zip stick in. Um, and I know there's also the Tandy Deluxe joysticks. Um, either of those are an option which I need to investigate. So that's all the hardware. What's left is the software, really. So the pack called itself a, a pack for home and education. So let's start with the education stuff first. And this is Moby Maths. I love, kind of love this art style here. It's so, so homebrew, if you will. It's on cassette, yeah, and the cassette needs to be around, which isn't good. But it's just a basic instruction leaflet. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It's an educational maths game. Um, I'm a bit too old for it, and most of the people watching this video are probably in the same boat. The second bit of educational software is Color Keyboard, the typing tutor for the Color Computer 3. And again, it's on, ooh, it's on two cassettes this time. There's uh, the Color Keyboard and Keyboard Speed. And as the back says, it's a, apparently a course taught in Australian schools. Must have been before I, was, before I got to use computers in school because um, certainly weren't Coco's around when I was learning to touch type. But a speed test and all of that. It's a typing tutor. Again, I think that's not much relevant to me. Then there's the games. Um, it's old school Ziploc bag territory here. So we've got Space Invaders by Spectral Associates. Um, there's not much to say about it. It's a Color Space Invaders clone. I haven't played this at all. I have to have a gander at it. Um, but suffice to say, I want to see how that one plays. And then there's Donut Dilemma, which, which is more interesting. The guy who wrote this, um, he's actually still writing games for the Coco, and he's just put pre-orders up for a new game, um, which I have pre-ordered. So when it arrives, I'll have to review it at some stage. But this one, I've, I've played a bit under emulation, but it's only the Coco 2 version. Um, the tape's actually got Coco 3 on the other side. But it's actually like a you know, Donkey Kong-esque platform, which actually looks fun. Um, I do want to play it properly, so I'll have to do a review of this at some stage. And the final couple of pieces are... There's an issue, and it's probably not going to look that good under the light, but it's an issue of Coco Magazine. The magazine for the experienced Tandy Coco computer user. Coco computer, which has got some basic listings and some things like that. It's the other fair bit. It's interesting to look at this stuff. Maybe I'll do something on that. Um, and then there's a bunch of printouts, which is, which looks like it's someone's, I don't know, I don't know at all what this is. Maybe someone's listing or someone's program or something, I don't know. I don't think this is part of the pack, this is just something the previous owners left in. Uh, so there we have it. Um, I always like getting around to playing around with new machines, and getting one that's boxed like this is actually a cool special treat. So I will be working on trying to get um, some gameplays and stuff soon. I've got one cart game on order, which according to Tracky should arrive tomorrow. Um, this is actually take two of filming this unboxing because the first one didn't go so well. And I'm hoping this one goes okay, because it's pretty late and I do want to get to bed. <laughs> um, so this one should be okay. And generally I think it'll be fun to play around with another machine like this. Um, I do have one question to ask, so in the unlikely event you're a Coco fan, um, what
what are some game recommendations that are going to run on, on this? Like, I don't care if they're Coco 1, 2, 1 or 2 games, as long as they don't use those artifact modes, because they don't work on PAL. Um, I tried to load something, and it was just, it just looked really ugly when they, for the games that use that. So I'm definitely interested in finding out about those. Um, I'm going to sort out an RGB cable, and I want to find out whether Dragon games run on run on this properly, because the Dragons are, of course, the same hardware spec as the Color Computer 1 and 2, but a slightly different OS and some minor differences, like the same core architecture. Um, I don't know if, maybe should do, I don't know if you want to see more about this, if you want me to cover some more stuff on it. Yeah, that's all kind of comments stuff, please. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to hear about um, recommendations for games I should try and check out. Um, someone recommended me Rampage, so... I'll see if I can find the cartridge of that for a decent price, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look. Um, I had to keep it brief because, you know, it's an interesting thing. I just thought I just thought it'd be cool to actually look at this stuff. You know, I haven't seen many people unbox like retro computers um, like this. Like you might see pick up or something, but to have all the all the MacGuffins come with it, I thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, um, thanks for all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you all next time.